Good morning, lovely people. Welcome to day 11. Again, the weather is being so kind. So back out here, I think I will actually manage to get the whole course done outside. So I'm so pleased about that. Anyway, we will crack on. So we just start with our little shoulder rolls, get that neck warmed up. So drop your chin to your chest with an inhale and exhale, bring your chin up. Remember to try and bring your chin up towards the sky rather than throwing your head back. Make sure that spine is nice and straight. Lovely breeze today. in the sky <laughs> and then just look over your right shoulder and then slowly around to the left and again We're just going to do a twist, so we bring our arms out, take an inhale, we're going to bring our left hand to the right knee and then just take a twist, so take a big inhale and as you exhale, twist. And just try and keep that back nice and straight, suck that core in, really give that tummy a twist. Relax your shoulders down, keep your spine straight. Very lazy, I don't do much yoga. Okay, and bring your arms down. Um, we're just coming to our, our wide legged forward fold. Pop up on your cushion. Okay, your blocks, make sure your back is nice and straight. Make sure your legs are rolled out, toes pointing up to the sky. And then we just walk, start to walk forward. See how far we can come today. If you feel like you can, you'll be best down on the blocks. deep breaths into the legs there and then just try and relax them down relax those muscles down with each exhale lovely just walk up come into our bound angle again if you want to get your strap just pop that around your feet Bring your feet in as far as you can. Say for out here a little bit, that's fine. Bring them in as far as you can. Nice straight back. And we just do our little horses. How are you guys feeling on this course? Are you feeling like becoming more flexible? Are you feeling pretty stiff? You obviously don't have to do this every single day. You can leave a day in between. So just to give a chance for your muscles to relax or you can do it three times a week, like every two days, every three days rather. So you don't have to do it every single day. It's good to get your, to give your muscles a chance to relax. So, um, Okay, so we're just going to hinge forward on the hips. Nice straight back. Just do feel that stretch on the inner thighs. You can maybe take your elbows down, elbows down onto your knees. And then 
me just do that butterfly stretch. So just bring your feet out so you've got that nice diamond shape. And then just grab, grab hold of your toes or your ankles, wherever you're comfortable. And then this time you can round your back round and just come down. Again, if you want to put a cushion there, I can't speak today. Right. And then just come down, and just relax down. So our goddess, so legs nice and astride, just do as, as is comfortable for you. Feet out like that to that angle, hands on your hips, and then we're just going to come down to that goddess again. Make sure your knees aren't falling forward, nice straight spine. You can bring the arms in if you want to, and then we just lift that right heel. something a little bit different not the usual um, Sammy salutation splits <laughs> so we're just going to come in to, and do some warriors so warriors one two and three so you will need your blocks and then we'll go down and do our, our, our half splits so come into Tadasana mountain pose make sure your knees are over your ankles hips slightly tucked under, roll the shoulders down and back, take a couple of breaths here, and we're just going to bring our right foot back, just bring it out at back heel, slight angle, bend into that front knee, and you just want to, you just want to bring your arms up, Make sure you've got your core engaged here. I'm going to come into uh, Warrior 2. So just maybe put that, scoot that back foot out a little bit, bend into that knee, make sure it's over the ankle, and we're going to have our arms out. Warrior three, you want to just bring that foot in a little bit and to come down and hold on to your block, so just a little bit out in front of you, and then just lift that leg back leg up like so. You want to try and have a nice straight line if possible. So you can have that knee that knee bent, that's not a problem. an audience today. Excellent. And then just come down, bring that knee down. We're going to come into a low lunge. It's not a low lunge, a high lunge. And again, if you can, just come up and bring your arms up. It's quite a 
quite strong pose this so if you feel like this is too much again you can just come down to your blocks just for that support you want to try and get this back leg straight if you can come up drop that back knee and then come back into our half split and we're just going to practice the back and forward here just warming up that groin area tuck your toes if that's a little bit uncomfortable. Try and get it down as far as you can, almost as if you're sitting on the on your heel there. Exhale. That's perfect. And then just bring that foot back up, come into your forward fold. Again, you can bring your blocks in. Just bring your nose down, up into flat back, and then just come down to our, have your mid knees bent at this stage. To wrap your legs around you. Not to wrap your arms around the back of your legs, that's fine. And then just slowly slip, see. Sorry, I've got my necklace in my mouth. So we see if you can straighten your legs up a little bit. That's perfect. And then just come up really slowly. And hands to heart. Well done. Okay, so back into the Darsana Mountain Pose. Just get your breath. Make sure you're stacked. Tip your hips under slightly. And we'll come back into Warrior One. So foot back, arms up to your ears, make sure your core's engaged. And bring your shoulders down away from your ears. A couple of breaths here. And into warrior two, so you might want to bring that foot out a little bit. Knee over the ankle, arms nice and straight. This is looking forward and relax, leaving the past behind. It's always good to look forward, not to dwell on the past. And then if you prepare for the warrior three, so you can bring your foot in a little bit. And we're just going to raise that foot up. the toes are flexed down to the ground. Suck that core in. And then just come down as gently as you can into the lunge. Now, if you want to, make sure you have your knees over the ankle as usual. If you want to rest your hands here, that's fine. If you want to, have your blocks that's fine or if you can you can bring your arms up to your ears make sure that back legs nice and straight and the heels going down towards the ground a couple of breaths here and then we can bring our knee down and we just practice our half splits so to come back forward and inhale as you come back exhale as you go forward inhale let's get that a bit lower again you want to try not to be leaning over to one side forward
just have it drip everything down and come up halfway and then just let everything hang maybe give your head a little shake then just straighten your knees do one or the other position so that gravity take them actually not a cloud in the sky today it's absolutely stunning beautiful so try and relax your shoulders down onto the ground again if you want your blocks under your legs it's really a bit of support each side it's fine Okay, so we're going to bring them in. You can just grab hold of your strap. I'm just going to do and um, take my legs out to the side. So we want the um, left leg down and engage with your toes flexed. Grab your strap right near to your foot and then just start to bring it down and just come out as far as you can go before you your body starts to lift off the ground like so you really want to try and keep that left side onto the ground if you have uh, that bend in your knee again that's not a problem just rest your elbow down on the floor there before you can come down to as far as you can You want to have a block there for your foot to rest on that is fine as well it's just a lovely stretch opening up the side for in there the hip flexors and if you just bend that leg to come out of that and give that a little hug do the other side. So the right leg out, engage the right leg by pointing your toes up to the sky and then they just slowly come down. You probably find this side you can't come out as far. You see how my body's starting to lift so just go down as far as you can. bend in your leg that's fine or if you're here you just go as far as your body wants to go so my body quite wants to go to the Bahamas but there you go you can't have everything okay and then we'll just come up bend that knee up bend both knees up to your chest Up. I think it'd be nice to finish on some nice shoulder rolls and stretches so let's just bring our shoulders up and round and the other way and just round our back 
stretching it back out. And then just bring your hands behind you, lift your chin up slightly. Lovely stretch. And one more. Good. Mm, lovely stretch. There we go, that is day 11 done. <laughs> really well done guys. Hope you have a wonderful day. Stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Take care.